What is up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Diego and it's been a while since I've been around here on YouTube. I always say I'm going to be consistent and unfortunately I fail miserably at doing so. But I've been busy, um, I've been doing some stuff and I'm actually going to be talking today about some of the things that have actually been keeping me busy. Uh, most notably the GAMSA exam. So I did a video back in 2019, I think, April 2019, called my GAMSA experience, which I'm going to put somewhere here or here, depending on the space once I start editing. Um, and yeah, so I sat the exam in 2019, um, which was like three years ago, basically, or two years and a bit. And yeah, I resat it again. Um, and basically today's video is going to be like the update the sort of re reboot of the GAMSA experience uh, version number three because I did it three times. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it guys. I hope you enjoy this video. All right guys, so I sat the GAMSA for my third time on March the 19th or something like that, 2021, so a few weeks ago now. Um, and yeah, I got my results back uh, this week. Um, and yeah, it was, um, <laughs> it was a pleasant surprise to see um, that I'd scored really well in it, um, especially by UK standards, because I know that in Australia, uh, it seems like the cutoffs for GAMSA are very high. Um, which luckily for me, I'm in the UK, so yeah. Um, basically, I want to run through what my experience was like on the day, and then I want to tell you what my score was, and also make a comparison between what my score, my score is now and what my score was in my last two sittings. It was quite a change, actually, so I'm, I'm really uh, happy to see the improvement, to see the growth, to see the levelling up. But yeah, anyway, um, so basically, I sat the exam... Uh, in March and it was standard you know uh, the typical GAMSA experiences you've done it before it's not pleasant like I was sat there on exam day and I literally just wanted to leave the room I was done I'm like I can't hack it anymore I can't take this anymore I knew like I remember when section one started I was like oh, man it's so long to go at section two section three still and so this this time around it was different from last year, because last year, because of the whole COVID situation, it was um, indoors, so like we did it at home, right? It was a remote exam, which was, when I first sat, when I was first gonna do it remotely, I thought it was gonna be a good idea, but later I found out that it wasn't. Um, so on the day we went to a hotel in London, we sat the exam, we had to be with like uh, a mask on, and yeah, imagine just sitting in a room trying to concentrate with glasses on and with a mask on with it sort of fanning up on your on your face, like creating all of that sort of is it fog? Yeah, fog on your glasses. So it was just horrible, horrible experience. Um at lunchtime just had some food, like something that quickly I could take. And yeah, then got back for section three. It was okay, it wasn't it was my second time sitting it on the online format. So not on the online format, so on the computer format, because before it used to be written, so like on the paper. And yeah, it was okay. Section one was decent, like typical, like you can't really, at least for me, I couldn't really make out if I'd done really well on it. Um, section two, I put all of my, like all of my strength, all of my focus into it. Like when I left that, I was like, yeah, I've written the best piece possible. Um, I put everything. I started talking about politics, philosophy, economics. I, I can't. And the funny thing is, till today, I can't even remember what the topic was about. Like I don't even remember at all. So it just it flashes by so fast, and you're so like intensely focused on, on the um, just doing and just typing as fast as you can. Um, so yeah, I just I don't even know what I wrote about, like what the topic was about. I remember just bringing everything I knew, everything I just any topic, trying to bring it in, and support my ideas. And in section three, so section three, um, I had knew, I, well, I'd known that historically it was, you know, like the one I'd done worse on. Um, 
and yeah, I knew it was quite tough, tough, you know. So I had done past papers, I'd done some Desenil papers, I'd done the whole thing, right? But obviously nothing can really prepare you for the actual day when you're tired, you've got glasses on, you've, you've got your glasses, you've got a mask on, you've got all the time pressure, you've got the the external pressure as well of like, oh, if I fail, I have to do it again, I have to pay £280 again, and I have to sacrifice my evenings to like prepare for this exam. Um, so yeah, I mean, that day basically, when I did section three, um, I started off pretty badly actually, I think. So I started off pretty badly. Um, like I remember like, I think a good 20 or 25 minutes had gone by and I'd only answered like six or seven questions. And I was like really stuck on them. Like, I'd answered them, I'd spent so much time on them and I still didn't think the, the answers I selected were right. And obviously because of the pressure, you know, all of your technique and strategies can go out the window because you're like, yeah, I'm going to take my time, I'm going to skip and stuff like that. But then in the moment you sort of freeze and you forget. But thankfully, thank God, um, something just came upon me and I was like, wait, I can actually start skipping, let me skip. So I'd sat the UCAP before and I remember a big thing in the UCAP was like, if you ain't got time, skip, 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 skip and try and get to all of the questions you can. And so I quickly realised, I mean, this isn't anything genius, right? But something came upon me in that moment. And I realised that, okay, every four or five, six questions is like a unit in the section three paper, right? So I was like, okay, I definitely have no idea what they're talking about here. It's far too, um, like, far too uh, intense, like the reading. There's a lot of information to go through and it's probably not high yield. So I was like, all right, let me skip to the next set. And basically I started dividing it into little sections. So because on the uh, computer format, um, you've basically got, if you've done the demo on ACES paper, on ACES website, you've got like little um, like numbers on top. So one, two, three, four, five, and you can basically up to 75, I think, depending on the questions on the day, right? And um, basically if you've answered it, it goes gray uh, or something like that. But essentially, as you go away, as you go, as you're using the online uh, format, it becomes easier for you to realize what questions you've already looked at, which ones you've answered. And so I quickly started to use that and I started to go through all questions. And uh, this time round, I basically wildly guessed only a few, like not that much, which was in comparison to past settings, I'd guess like blank guesses, 20, 15 questions. Because I'd spent so many time on questions that I didn't have any idea really how to answer. But I was so uh, focused on trying to do it. Um, which sounds very... Uh, doesn't sound, you know, smart to do. But uh, in the moment you're so sort of pressured that you sort of forget about it. But thankfully I did that this time around. I was quite smart about the way I was answering my questions. And yeah, I got through all of the paper. So that was the on day the day of the exam experience, and then last week there was this whole sort of um, like panic by people saying, "Oh, when are the results coming out? When are the results coming out?" Blah blah blah. And I kept refreshing Reddit, kept refreshing student room, kept refreshing the online portal from Asa, until finally the results came through. I want to be absolutely honest with you. Like in my mind, I'd spoken to my wife as well a few days before and I said to her, I don't know how much more drive I have to carry on sitting these exams. Like, I've done it, this would be my, my third time. I've also done the UCAT three times. I've applied to medical school twice uh, in sort of uh, simultaneous, or not simultaneous year, in for, like subsequent years. Um, so I, I was basically just saying, I'm not sure how much more drive I've got. Like, I'm very driven, very motivated. But I was just dreading the fact of having to sit it again and basically sacrifice my summer. And obviously, like I, well, I'm working as well during the days and having to sacrifice every evening. And I feel like I've been doing this for like a good 11 months on and off consistently. Um... So yeah, I was just like preparing for the worst. I was like, if I at least get 50 on section three, 
and I can do rely on section one and two. Maybe I'll scrape fifty eight overall, and um, and yeah, and basically that will be enough. Hopefully, to you know get a score. Now I opened up the portal and I was basically I zoomed in. I made sure to zoom in so I could read section by section because I didn't want to see it all in one go. I was like I'm, I was preparing for the worst. You you probably by my expressions you probably know nah you know how it went right. Uh, so I went to section one, I was like, okay, let me actually read the, the score. So I've got my phone here. Um, I've, I can't remember exactly off memory. So let me just bring it up quickly. And I'll tell you guys what the scores were. If this would just load up. Quickly. Cool. All right. So yeah, so basically, this is what I did. I zoomed in very, very, very much so I could make sure I was reading bit by bit. So section one, 66. So I was like, wow, 66, that was an improvement because before I'd only scored about 54 and 58 and 58 I thought was really high. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what I scored in, in past years. Section two. 59. Now, 59 for section 2, I was kind of hurt because in in previous years, I actually scored 68 and 61 for section 2. Um, so I was like, wait, how am I scoring 59? If in my mind, I'd done way more practice, I'd put everything in. For me, it was a masterpiece. But anyway, so I was like, oh gosh. <laughs> and then, I, read, and then I, I scrolled down and I looked at section 3 and it said 59. Now, 59 for me, I was, that's insane for me, right? Now, I know there's a lot of people who score much more higher, and congrats to you guys. For me, this is an improvement. So then what I did is what I want to do now. I slowly swipe to the right to see what the overall score would be. 61. So when I saw that 61, guys, I was, I was getting mad. <laughs> I was tired, this was like at 6 in the morning, straight away I got energy, straight away I woke up. I, I had nothing to do at that time, but I just woke up, I was like, let me just wake up and let me just internally celebrate and I kept refreshing just in case it wasn't a mistake. But thank God it was no mistake, it was meant to be. Um, but yeah, can you imagine, 66, 59, 59 again and overall 61. Now. Again, for some this might be, you know, standard. And if it is standard, guys, my respect to you because it took me a while to do this, right? So I want to read what I did, what school I got in March 2019. So in March 2019, when I sat it, I got section 1, 54. Section 2, 68. Section 3, 40. 40, so imagine 40. So... I just scored 59 and I got 40 last year. So that's 19 marks, you know, that's that's quite a lot. And overall 51. So it wasn't good enough. Horrible, I had to pay again, 280 pounds. I spent like a thousand pounds just on exams. Sat it again, May 20, 20. Um, section one, 57. Section two, 61. Section 3, 47. So I'd, I'd actually improved in a year. I'd increased my marks by 7 for Section 3. So there's a trend that was increasing. Overall, 53. Now, in my mind, I was like, okay, I've, scored, I've increased my Section 3 score by um, by 7 marks. I was like, All right, I could probably do a 3 or 4 marks more. But I didn't think I was going to score... 12 marks more, so the 59 on section 3 for this school. So, yeah, it was a surprise to me. I'm not going to complain about it, of course. I'm not going to, you know, ask questions about it. 59, so 66, 59, 59, overall 61. I'm extremely happy about it. Um, it came at a good time as well, because, like, I applied for medical school last October based on some UCAT results I, I, I had and I didn't get no interviews like I thought I was going to get at least one interview but no interviews so thankfully at least I've got something 
to show for this for the work I've been putting in. And now with 61, in the UK by UK standards, it puts me in a very, very good position to get the interview um, for the upcoming cycle. Now of course I can't you know be celebrating yet because I've not I'm not in medical school yet. But 100% these scores are way better than what I scored for my UCAT last time and all of my past GAMSAT scores. And historically based on cutoffs for GAMSAT, they don't, they, in the UK they don't, vary, they don't vary as much as the UCAT scores. So I know that hopefully I'll be able to get the interview invites. Once I get the interview invites, I know I'm going to be on point, I'm going to be preparing. And I feel like the interviews is where I'm going to shine to be honest. Um, so hopefully you know it all pays off it's been a long long ride imagine March 2019 2020 and 2021 it's been way long like I, this that was literally a whole BSc nearly I could have been doing um, so yeah that was it that was my campsite experience those are the results I've got um, I'm aware that it's quite a jump uh, quite an improvement for section 3 and I'm going to be releasing videos on some of the resources that I use some of the tips and uh, sort of stuff that I've picked up on um, in the following weeks. Um, so yeah, hopefully you, got, you guys find it useful. If you've got any specifics, um, you know, leave some comments in the in the in the comment section, and I'll be happy to to you know to answer them. But I'm gonna be releasing some videos on what not to do, which is what I learned. Some of the resources I used and some of the tips I, and tricks I've learned on how to improve your section three. I don't really, I'm not proclaiming to be like this guru in section three or some expert. Um, but I've, I'm just gonna share what I've picked up. You know, I failed on it twice, and yeah, I just feel like there's some stuff I can hopefully share that will be useful. So if that if this video has been of some help to you guys, um, leave a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna be carrying on putting out more content on this because the reality is there's not much more there's not much I can talk about really on my YouTube. It's all very dependent on you know how results are going and where the journey is. Most of my YouTube channel is based on me getting into medical school as a graduate working in a consultancy at the moment so yeah there's, a, there's some stuff which basically i can't put out until i've got information or updates like this one so yes guys it's been good you know to do this again if you like this video thumbs up subscribe comment and until next time it's been diego bye bye